Aloha, and welcome to Healing Ways with Kayla Ray. I'm here on the beautiful big island of Hawaii, and we're here today at a beach because what better place to be when talking about divine timing and going with the flow. The ocean and islands in general are great teachers of going with the flow. Living in Hawaii has been one of the biggest lessons in my life. And one of the things they're teaching me is patience. On an island like Hawaii, who's very rural, um, especially this big island, there's um, a slower pace to life. They say we're about 20 years behind the times. And things take longer to get here. We don't always have the technology and you really have to just live in the moment and go with the flow. And I'm still learning that lesson all the time, but it's one of life's greatest teachers. I think we can really truly only live in the moment. But like last time, we talked a little bit about the serenity prayer, having the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, having the courage to change the things that we can, and that wisdom to know the difference. It can be quite confusing. And so oftentimes we put in a lot of effort and we just exert our will and sometimes it feels like we're pushing a boulder up a hill because we're just trying so hard at something. And other times we kind of give up and we surrender um, before our time and just let the universe throw us around a little bit and we don't put in our efforts. And we have to find that line. What is it for you to do and what is it for the rest of the universe and the environment to do? So it's about finding that balance and it can be difficult to know when am I putting enough of my will in and when am I pushing too hard? And so it's much like when you want to go to the beach and have a great time. If you're a surfer and you're going to the beach in times when the weather is good for swimming or waiting around, you're going to be really frustrated. There's not going to be enough surf. If you want to just wait around and go swimming and it's really good weather for surfing, you're going to get really tossed around and get under the, under the currents. So the challenge is knowing the environment as well putting your part in and then waiting to see the reaction. You know, the ocean has very many conditions. It's high tides or low tides. It's high surf or low surf. It's really windy or really calm. And you have to know what's the right timing for you to do the right thing. The thing that, that serves you the most. Is the environment right for it? So the things for you to do are to know what you want, Put in what you believe is your part to be done. And then wait for the response. Wait for the response from the universe and see what comes back. If it starts to flow pretty easily, things seem to work out, you're getting responses, things are moving forward, the flow is giving you a thumbs up. It's a yes sign, it's a move forward. If you're being constantly met with roadblocks and other frustrations and challenges, the time may not be right. It may not be the time for you to move forward. So you need to take that as a sign and take a pause and slow down. And you can always pick it up again tomorrow. It's okay. But it's about knowing when the environment is ripe and being okay with that, surrendering to that. There have been many times in my life that this is completely applicable. And one of which is um, my search for a supervisor to get my licensure as a counselor here in Hawaii. I've struggled with this. Um, in many ways and I had been searching for years and years um, it had been kind of ridiculous at some point I had emailed so many different professionals and talked to so many different people it got a little ridiculous and was getting really frustrating so at some point I had to put it down it just wasn't working um, and it did make me feel hopeless but then one day we hired someone at my um, current place of work and she just mentioned to me that she had just gotten a supervisor and was gonna start and was I interested and it was literally that easy. It was placed in my lap. I'm not saying it's always going to be that easy, but when it's time and the universe is ready to flow again, it will let you know and the signs will be there. And I took that as a major sign like, yes, now is the time. Okay, cool. I can get back on that track. And a thing that's come up for me recently, and this is why this is, this topic is happening today is because I have been um, on the fence about getting a new computer. Mine is now nine years old and still somewhat functioning. 
or at least it was, <laughs> it was. It's a laptop, a nine-year-old laptop. Come on, what can I really expect from it? But I've been using it to do my videos. I've been using it for my work. Um, I've been using it daily now for quite a while and it's struggling and I can see it struggling and I um, recognize that and I've been thinking that it's about time for me to get a new one, but I struggle with this fear this belief that I um, need to be concerned about my finances and that um, holds me back sometimes. And so I struggle to know when to move forward. And sometimes I hold off on decisions like that, particularly about finances, because I'm just unclear, I'm unsure. And now the universe gave me a lovely sign. It said, it's time. And the way I knew it's time is that today I'm trying to run a youth group and I wanna do a, um, a video and show them and my computer pulls up and it's now a tri-split screen and it's a very bizarre situation and I can't get my cursor to the right spot and it's just ridiculous so I'm getting really frustrated with it and um, I realized that this might be a sign a sign from the universe that remember that computer you've been thinking about getting yeah just dip in and do it I think it's time for you to do that so I'm taking that as a sign. I could get really frustrated and mad and pissed off and, and be irritated, or I could just deal with it and say, thank you universe, you've helped me decide. You've made that final decision for me. And I always think that there are multiple layers to messages from the universe. Um, one, I needed to get over my financial fear and just do this thing, just buy this computer, the thing that's gonna help me in my business and all the things that I wanna do and just bite the bullet and do it. And two, there was something else beautiful about this. For those of you who know me, I work really hard and I often struggle with my own self-care and making time for myself. Um, I'm just constantly doing things and it's difficult. Um, difficult to make time for my own self-care. So when I got home today after Unity, I realized I had some mail and what I had received is these new cards called Miracle Now and they're a Hay House production and the author is also at the bottom and I'll link this I got them on Amazon and miracles now I pulled a card because I just like to do this and see what the universe comes up with for me and the card that they had was so applicable I'm like all right here's my second message from this computer breaking down all that work I've been doing all that ridiculousness here's my message and I don't know if you can read it but I'll read it for you it says I make time to recharge my battery. The world needs my energetic light. Okay, universe, you're right. I'm not making enough time for myself. So sometimes, just like when you push too hard for finals and then you get really sick afterwards, the universe makes you stop. And so by taking down my computer, the universe is like, you know what, if you're not gonna take a break, I'm gonna make you take a break for you. And the best way I can do that for you is just stopping all of your activity. All right, touche universe. Sometimes it's the time for resting and sometimes it's the time for doing. And I guess it's getting the time for resting for me. So I'm gonna take that clue, I'm gonna get a new computer, and I'm just gonna move forward when the time is right. So that's what I encourage you to do. Know what you want, put in your timing, and then watch the universe. When it's time for you to get going and do things, the universe will let you know. And when it's giving you that roadblocks, don't offer resistance, just take a pause, follow the cues, go with the flow, and you're always on the right path. Thanks for listening to today's Healing Ways, and I'll catch you next time. Aloha.